As some of you know, one of my main running goals for this year is to get a sub 9 minutes on the 3k. And uh, I will do my attempt in about two weeks, so that means that I'm doing some pretty brutal training right now to give myself the best possible chance of uh, achieving my goal. But before I get into those brutal sessions, I'm as always starting my day here with a nice short easy morning jog just to get my legs moving, which is very needed after some days we had a pretty intense training. But I will talk more about how I'm training and how I'm preparing for this 3K when I get back home. Some coffee will be needed today because I said today is going to be a pretty brutal training day. But let me explain uh, what I'm trying to do here the second last week before my goal and my attempt of doing this sub 9 minute uh, 3k. So this is uh, what my training week will look like. It is pretty simple and straightforward. Every other day I run two tough interval sessions. In the morning I run one kilometer intervals on the track, uh, five repetitions with two minutes rest. And then in the afternoon I run four minute intervals uh, on softer surface. Also here with two minute uh, rest. And in between those interval days I have just an easy day with just a six kilometer easy jog. And the interval sessions I'm doing are really tough. Uh, I push almost to my limit, at least 90-95% of maximum effort. So these are not those uh, typical uh, threshold intervals. I try to push way beyond threshold and get uh, pretty much lactic acid into my legs on these intervals. And yeah, it's pretty tough and pretty demanding to do two of these uh, in a day, especially mentally. But I have some uh, good reasons why I'm doing this uh, as a part of my preparations for the 3K. First of all, I want to get many kilometers close to my race pace or the pace I want to run my 3K in, which is uh, 3 minutes per kilometer. And uh, through the winter I've been uh, doing mostly threshold work and I've been running very little at uh, these kind of uh, paces. So in order to get my body used to this and to get my biomechanics and everything uh, optimized for these uh, speeds, I need some uh, time there. So these intervals will give me quite many kilometers close to race pace. These sessions also really stimulate the VO2 max and uh, if I can boost my VO2 max just a little bit before my test race, that will help me a lot on the 3K. It is also a mental aspect why I'm doing these really tough interval sessions in my preparations for the 3K. Uh, because uh, a part of how well you will perform uh, on a 3K is how far you can push yourself into the pain. Because it will be painful and if you can raise the bar for what you can tolerate, of course you will be able to get more out of your shape and out of your body. And for these sessions uh, I get used to running on that really uncomfortable uh, pace and uh, when I do more of the base training, the threshold sessions, I get uh, sort of spoiled with uh, not pushing myself to the limit. So one of the thing, reasons why I'm doing this is just to, to get used to, uh, to handle a lot of pain basically. And my last reason for doing this interval block is of course that I want to train myself down a bit and then I will ease up the training and do an easier week with, with just some sprints and easy training. And hopefully that will give me a good super compensation and will help me to achieve a really good shape on the day that I want to do my test race. I have actually been doing quite many of these uh, sessions already because today will be my fourth day of double interval sessions in this little training block and uh, I will tell you more about how the first three days went uh, in the car on my way to the local track here. So let's go to the track and suffer some more. <laughs> The first three days of doing these double interval sessions has been tough but has been going surprisingly well actually because I've been able to run a little bit faster for each of these one kilometer interval sessions. The first one I averaged three minutes and nine seconds, the second one three minutes and five seconds 
and the last one I did I averaged 3 minutes and 3 seconds. So it's been interesting how I've been able to run a little bit faster for each of these uh, but I have felt uh, so tired in the rest days between and uh, in the mornings before the sessions I've also felt completely trashed in my legs and uh, that is the case also today. I feel really tired in my legs. So I'm really curious to see if I actually can keep the same speed or hopefully even do uh, a little bit faster times today on this uh, one kilometer repeats uh, I will be doing today. So let's see how it goes. Uh, it will be painful, that's the goal at least, and hopefully the times will be okay. <laughs> So now let's do 15 minutes of easy warm-up and then some strides and then I will go at it. The first interval done, I'm happy with that one, 3.06. I'm trying to hold back a bit on the first to don't burn my legs completely. And I ran the first interval in the Clifton 7s and now I'm switching to the Alpha Flies, which are a bit faster and funnier to run in. And I'm doing this to switch up the, the load a bit. So now I'll be running three intervals in the Alpha Flies before I do a switch to another parachute. But now let's get ready again. I'm very happy so far with the session, now it's only one left, so let's just keep it together. And for this last one I'm switching to my spikes to get uh, used to, to trying to keep a good stride in uh, this, although my legs are really tired. <sighs> so let's just finish this thing in a, in a good way. <laughs> Ah, that was a good session. I think I ran a little bit faster than the previous ones as well, so I'm happy with that. I think I averaged 3.02 or something like that. Ah, good one. <laughs> I'm very happy that I managed to produce better times today than I have done before. I didn't expect that from the feeling on the warm-up and on the morning jog, because as I said earlier, uh, my legs felt pretty trashed, but somehow when I start the intervals it felt uh, quite okay and I'm really happy with my times and I'm surprised that I managed to run a little bit faster for each of these uh, interval sessions I'm doing. But uh, it, I think I pushed myself about the same, but it mentally it feels a bit easier and easier and that's because I think that I get used to, to to the pain and pushing myself like I talked about earlier this mental aspect that is a big part of why I'm doing this uh, tough interval block is to get used to, <laughs> to the suffering basically so happy with that and now I'm just going to head home eat a lot of carbohydrates and then it's time to suffer again for the second interval session <laughs> Of course my legs feel a bit heavy after the first session but I'm still looking forward more to this one because now I will get to run on some really fun trails and I will also get uh, some good company on this uh, session. Tja. So Oscar will be joining me on this session. Are you ready for some intervals Oscar? Yes of course. Uh, Oscar just had his uh, final exam uh, before summer so this is the best way to celebrate. Absolutely. Some four uh, times four minute intervals complete suffer mode on <laughs> in this heat <laughs> in this beautiful weather we have here we don't get the heat so often in Norway but now it's yeah it's warming up <laughs> So this hill is going to be pretty tough on the intervals we will be doing a route around here that will take approximately four minutes and the purpose with this session is just to push everything uh, we got and try to get a high heart rate for all intervals. So yeah, just you're doing a jog through at the route now before we give it uh, our best.
So that was a great session. I'm very happy with that. I managed to push in a good way. So if you want to continue following my journey to a sub 9 minute 3 kilometer, uh, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel because I'm posting another uh, video from my tapering and of course I will post my attempt as well. But for now, thanks for watching. Train smart, <laughs> have fun and I will see you in the next video.